Hello, dear agorist. Welcome again to one of my cases on fish diseases. And today I will talk about a worm infection in guppies, a nematode worm infection caused by the worm capillaria, which is a very common worm in our hobby and by the fish breeders and the fish importers, exporters. In this case, I will show with uh, that infection in a guppy. If you need more information on fish diseases, try to get my books about diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of fish diseases. And here we see those guppies, which are, uh, are behaving some, well, they have some stress and symptoms. You can see they're not swimming normally. Something is troubling them. The nuts, they're, they're whirling in the aquarium. They're a little bit nervous. So something is irritating them. That's how I conclude this kind of behavior. So it's important to watch the behavior of your fish that tell you a story. And you take a microscope and you examine the intestine or the gut. Well, this tells you a story. And you see all the different worms inside this gut or the intestine of the guppy. And there are many different, many uh, species available, about 10 capillaria. This is of course troubling the fish, making the fish weak, and making the fish prolable to other diseases like bacterial infections. But in this case, the fish were still in a rather good health, so your axis of treatment will be most likely positive. Now you can treat the worm infection with products like Parazicantel, Fenbendazole, Levamizole, or other similar medication, which I explain in my books on fish diseases, or you can get information from your fish doctor. You can at the same time help to restore the health of the fish because they're fighting with an immune system weakening and they have some, well, worm infections and the functional food can help you to uh, make the fish stronger and fight off the worm infection. And we have therefore made our Dr. Basslier biofish food pumpkin seed extract. Things that help to improve the health of your fish. So my books, are your guidelines to do the best treatments and giving you the best advice for diagnosis. You also can get a training on fish doctoring at my Patreon. So that might help you to become a more specialized aquarist if those cases already didn't help you. This was case 208 and many more you can see if you subscribe, you learn more about fish diseases. Thank you for watching.